<laughs> All right, it seems each day uh, the top tech story involves OpenAI. We talked about that earlier today, right? Partnering with yet another company. You can see just some of the recent deals. The solid blue lines are customer and repurchase agreements. The dotted lines are investors. The red lines, you know. But here's the thing. The naysayers hint that this is all maybe some kind of funky accounting or shell game. But the names, well, the names involved in these deals, those stocks keep going higher. So I want to bring in IO Fund, their lead tech uh, analyst, Beth Kendig. And, you know, Beth, what is OpenAI's the game plan, so to speak? Because some think that it's positioned itself as a linchpin for the ultimate success for AI or could even sink AI. Yeah, that's a great question to focus on OpenAI, Charles. Uh, they are really aiming to become the iPhone of AI. Now, that term is thrown around a lot, but I think it holds real weight with OpenAI because they also have a developer platform on top of these foundation models that people are pretty familiar with now with ChatGPT. Um, and then also just consider they're at the convergence of government demand, consumer demand, enterprise demand. They are a bellwether for how to monetize AI. However, for an investor's viewpoint, nothing is more important than CapEx. Um, that would be my number one linchpin in terms of if AI can continue on this phenomenal run or we'll see a pullback. And right. we are seeing year over year growth in CapEx next year. So all is well in the AI world. Right. I mean, they're putting up some really, really big bucks. I wanted to ask you about Astera Labs yeah. because it's a name you like last week. And when I saw the ARM news yesterday, this stock pulled back a little bit from it. I, I guess they're, you know, as this thing goes on, they're, they're, they're going to start seeing or, or knowing more winners and losers. W would you change anything with this because OpenAI and ARM? You know, I would zoom out a little bit here. What it is is that AI networking is basically a tsunami. Uh, we are increasing GPUs for every AI system from 8 to 72. That's a 9x increase. AI networking is going to be increasing somewhere between of the order of 5x to 9x. So, you know, it's like you're trying to surf a tsunami here. This is a massive market. Astera is a small fish. They only need a couple of big customers, and their biggest customer, Charles, is Amazon, who is spending over 100 billion a year. Meaning, these little tiny, you know, these announcements between mm -hmm. all these different players don't matter to something like Astera. All right, hey, I got to give you props on something you mentioned last time. So remember, we were talking about Bloom. I told you I saw it in 60 Minutes like years ago. I thought it was going to be big. It came public and never did anything. You said, okay, it's still a buy. Last time it was 88. I thought maybe we missed it. It's 107 now, and everyone's talking about it. it does it, it's still more upside? Yes, absolutely. In fact, my firm is up over 400% on Bloom. It's our number one winner this year. The reason is that it it is it's powering the data center expansion. It's powering it very quickly. It takes three months for these hydrogen fuel cells to get on site. Compare that with nuclear, which would take years to build out. It really is that time to power three months, and Bloom, Bloom Energy can you know provide power that is not tied to the grid right and that piece is is a big deal for bloom energy right now so 88 to 113 in like a week and a half or something hey i can't let you go without asking you about the chips overall right everyone kind of acknowledges listen that's what's you know that they're the straw that stirs a drink but also they're starting to spin the wheels a little bit here uh, you know would it be okay for a consolidation is that overdue maybe even a pullback I think any pullback should be bought, Charles. You and I have been talking AI chips for many, many years. I mean, your show has been spot on covering this. I, I feel like back to 2020, if not earlier. However, what I want to say is in this whole time we've had all these conversations, um, we're heading into a very big second half weighted moment um, for the shipping cycle. That's Blackwell and Blackwell Ultra simultaneously shipping. Now is not the time uh, to cool off from AI chips. All right. That's all I needed to hear, Beth. Thank you.